welcome back to my channel. Today I have what I have melted the first half of July. Oh my gosh. Halifax, Nova Scotia is just getting summer now. It's kind of sad. And yet when I look on the weather network for the rest of the week, it's supposed to rain and be thundery and lightning and all that fun stuff. So, I mean, it could stop now and bring on the sunshine because we totally deserve that out here for sure. Before we get started, I'm going to share with you guys what's on my nails. If you follow my Instagram, which I always put down below, it's Kim 1978 but Canada spelt with a K. I purchased a whole bunch of new nail polishes, new to me vendor, um, ILNP nail polishes. And this is one of the summer collection. Now, I've, of course, given smudgy bits on the that was my fault <laughs> a little bit of the nail polishes on the rubberized uh lid so anyway really really love this one i have my own i didn't buy a base coat or a top coat from the company but rather i just wanted to get the polishes you guys i am so impressed so far with the wear on this particular one this one is actually called summer this is one of i believe it was five from their like summer pool or pool time collection that i purchased but i also purchased many other ones a lot of multi-chromes which I love for fall. I absolutely adore those kind of colors. So anyway, very impressed with ILNP. I'm again, not sponsored, but um, really enjoying this color. It's, I've actually had a couple compliments at work already, so cool. All right, so let's just jump into what I have melted. But before I um, go into the empties, we're gonna talk about the things I just have a little tiny bit left. Um, and that first one here, we're gonna do summertime soda pop what I've left I know I'll get through this the second half of July you're gonna notice that I'm not going through a lot of empties so far for the first half because I'm going through a lot of these big bagged items and again I will try to remember to put the video up above and why how where I get the bags all that stuff of how I chop my Bath and Body Works three wick candles up put them in these bags I tell you all about them where I get everything on, on my playlist. I'll try to remember to put the playlist above. But anyway, Summertime Soda Pop is just stunning. This is a two year old candle that I chopped up. I chopped many of my candles up before I moved cross country um, to save on weight. And also I was really worried about kind of the glass and that. So anyway, this is my second summer with this and I'm really, really enjoying this. This is a beautiful soda pop shop. It gets just, lemon lime zesty i wouldn't it's not cream soda i would definitely say lemon lime kind of scent and um there is no effervescence to this but if the, if it could be almost you know you could have a little bit of a soda effervescence add to it to make it a little bit more but i find the bath and body works does not do effervescent scents at all whereas your girl kim here on the other side loves them so anyway I would definitely pick this up again if I saw this in the store. Again, that summertime soda pop. One of my all-time favorite candles, which is coconut leaves. Again, I've had this as well for a couple years. I actually only have like that much left, like half the amount that I have over here. Coconut leaves is just beautiful. It is just a true, beautiful, fresh coconut. I love a coconut. If you love coconut, you know exactly what coconut leaves smells like because you probably bought lots of it. Now, I know it's been increasingly more difficult to get your hands on coconut leaves as it is like in candle form because they, they tend to do this. Like things are actually good, they remove <laughs> and then we never get them back. Like I'm still waiting for my cranberry pumpkin to come back, but lo and behold, we're seeing the fall stuff coming out and sheesh, I don't see cranberry pumpkin at all. Come on, Bath the Body Works. <laughs> Anyway, uh, coconut leaves is a fantastic coconut scent. It's not suntan lotion, it's a really nice coconut. So if you like coconut, I would definitely say get you some. And again, like I said before, this is a chopped up three wick candle, just like the summertime soda pop shop. Okay, now we have one of my newest candles that I purchased in, in 2021, and I've chopped up again from Bath & Body Works. This one is in Be Mine Candy Hearts in Cotton Candy and Sparkling Raspberries. I love this one. This puts a smile on my face. There's a brightness to it. There's a beauty to this. I love raspberries. My husband, Nelson, loves raspberries. I mean, it just smells beautiful and strong. Again, I cannot urge you enough to at least give a chopping, take an inexpensive candle or one you're, you're struggling to get a throw. Throw it in the freezer. Follow the instructions that I have, again, on my playlist. Give it a go because, man, this throws like crazy and for a very long time and guys 14 and a half ounces of candle wax basically um goes a long long way as you can see my empties are going to be very small because i have been working on all of these 
throughout July. So on to the actual empties. I do have one that's an actual empty here. This is an Endless Weekend, another one of my favorite scents that Bath & Body Works does. They did it in candle form, I believe, first before they went into the body care. Endless Weekend is one of my favorite scents for the summer. Um, I believe I actually broke into this one last summer, but kind of held on to it a little bit. So it wasn't a completely full bag when I got to it in July. So it is now all gone and it's so good. Highly recommend. So here we have from Super Tarts, La Push. And so I have to do the right up here. It's raindrops, sage leaf, and orange peel. La Push, obviously, this is part of the Twilight's collection. I was actually at La Push. I have a sweatshirt that says La Push. I love it. It reminds me very well, very much of uh, Tofino and Euclid, which is actually where they filmed um, any of the scenes on the reserve. It was in Tofino or Euclid in British Columbia, Canada. So anyway, long story short, love this one. Has been a repurchase, obviously, and will be a repurchase. Okay guys, I'm gonna to try to remember to link the video above. I had a huge, and I mean huge, Zay Paul not that long ago, and I couldn't wait. I had to break into them. So, clean sheets. This is fresh linen, ozone, cotton blossoms. Beautiful. The only thing I will say, because it has been a while since I ordered from Zape, um, this is the very first clamshell of theirs I did open. So I will say though, that when you opened it, I couldn't just pop the clamshell out to pop it out and then break off two pieces like I always do for everything else. I literally had to slice because I used um, one in each of the bathrooms. I had to slice with a knife down here and wiggle these little portions out for some reason. They did not, this clam did not want to pop out. So it'll be interesting because this is the very first clamshell that I have used from my latest haul. So I'll obviously I'll let you guys know how that goes. A little annoying, a little messy, but all in all, it's very, very good. The scent is absolutely divine. This is again, a type of scent that I would melt obviously in our bathrooms. So I just have a small plug-in warmer in each of the bathrooms. So one of these cubes goes in there. It smells beautiful. Like, like if you love laundry, like the smell of laundry, you'll love this. So next up we have Sensational Summer Lovin'. And this was from the USA. Um, uh, not really that memorable. <laughs> um, it was okay. I melted this in the bathrooms as well. I just... No, there's nothing a little citrusy a little coconut a little beachy vibes it was not my favorite um scent it, i didn't hate it but it wasn't a standout where so many things here that i've already mentioned and i'm about to mention are standouts so i probably wouldn't repurchase this and again as always every month i go through a lavender lemonade you guys know how much i love this one is perfect for right now it's absolutely stunning so i put two cubes in my warmer in the bedrooms so I melted that in three different nights and I absolutely love this one. You guys, you know how much I love it. It comes into every video every month. <laughs> I go through at least one of these a month and really do enjoy it. So this one here from Goose Creek is in Cool Raindrops. I think I've had this before. I want to say this was a repurchase from mine. I can't remember. It's been so, uh, so long since I've last purchased Goose Creek because this was in the late, um, this was from one of my latest hauls. But anyway, I like this. It smells like dewy raindrops. How else I can describe that? I don't know. It smells like outdoors, ozonic. I almost feel like there might be a little bit of cucumber in there. So if you're not a cucumber fan, I, would, I wouldn't say it's cucumber, but the freshness of a cucumber, which is water pretty much, hence the uh, droplets of rain. Um, I definitely would repurchase this. They, these ones are different, un, unlike these ones, which are little squares. This is, I always say, it's like a trivial, trivial pursuit game piece where you have six pieces to fill to win the game. Well, this has six little triangles pieces. I only melted one triangle per um, bathroom melter. And again, that was in the bathroom that we use this for. And it threw really good, actually. I will say, I would definitely purchase it again. OMG, OMG. I have to get more of this. <laughs> I have to take a picture of this or write this down or something because Cape Cod Coast was just delightful. I don't know how else to describe it. This is in a two ounce scent shot cup. And I mean, you can divvy it up for how much you want to use depending on your space and all the other circumstances. This is just beautiful. It's described as salty air, crashing waves, myrtle leaves, fresh cedar and marine algae. And it says it's like an aqua de sale type. Anyway, fabulous. If there is a clone, that's sexy. It is a really, really nice scent. I would highly recommend this if you like mm, ocean-y, like sea salt air, that kind of thing. 
it just it just was beautiful and again this is something that we melted in our bathrooms i just cut this in half and put them each half into the bathroom warmers and really enjoyed this one definitely a purchase in the future then we have a couple melts also in scent shot cups the same size as the one we just spoke of from destination wax these are both from Rainbow Melts. In fact, I believe all the rest of the melts I'm going to be talking about are from Rainbow Melts, one of my top vendors. Pretty much everything you see here is one of some of my favorites. I kind of narrowed down who I buy from anymore, um, although there's a couple of vendors I haven't purchased from in a while that I'd like to definitely order from them again. So anyway, go back to this. This one here was part of the, uh, the Fizzy Pop sampler and Pina Colada and Fizzy Pop. Beautiful. Yeah. Sweet coconut milk, pineapple, and Fizzy Pop. Yeah, it's was delightful and this I do get a little bit of a fizzy note to it a little eppers of essence it's not as an extreme amount love picking up the fizzy pop sampler they she only does a couple different samplers in the summer a few in the fall one or two in the winter it's one of my favorite ways to pick up her wax because I do love just trying new things so this is absolutely delightful and then this one here is lemonade and copper tone now for once I'm gonna say lemonade I don't know where it went because copper tone took over it smelled like I was in the sunscreen copper tone bottle. I was wrapped in that smell of copper tone. I have no other way of explaining it. But again, it says sweet tart lemonade, copper tone suntan lotion. Um, I really got copper tone, which I loved, but it was a bit like I wish it was a little bit more lemonade too like i wish it played well together that it was at least a 50 50 um because copper tone i love the scent of i'm actually wearing a perfume that smells kind of like a copper tone um i love the scent but it was a, a lot <laughs> and this of course is very strong less is more for sure from rainbow melts and then we've got just a few little bags here from rainbow melts this is frosted espresso espresso caramel vanilla ice cream whipped cream and sprinkles love this again these are some of these ones that you're going to see in the bags coming up are also from samplers. So this one was from a coffee sampler. Whenever Rainbow Melts or Crystal does her coffee sampler, I always buy two if I can. If, if it's allowed to, I'll buy two um, because it's just stunning. Um, I really enjoy her, her mixtures. There's only maybe one or two that are just too cinnamony or too ooey gooey, like too sweet for me. But otherwise, I can put things in it to make it more mellow. But otherwise, I really like that one. It's fantastic. Another one from the coffee samplers is Coffee Shop. This is espresso coffee, vanilla bean, marshmallow, and butter cookies. Delightful. Like, serious. So good. I melt, in case you're curious, I melt a lot of coffee, tea type scents on the weekends in the morning. Like, I really loved putting that on first thing in the morning. It just kind of gets me going. Anyway, Coffee Shop is delightful. Um, really enjoyed this. This is not the first time I've had this one, and I'm hoping it won't be the last. But again, like I mentioned earlier, from the coffee sampler, and I will definitely purchase those from her in the future. This next one in Dreamland is from the Cookie Heaven sampler, and this is Cookie Heaven Sweet Lavender and Lemon Pound Cake. And Cookie Heaven is just like a really nice sugar cookie that um this is delightful and again she did a whole entire sampler with cookie heaven mixed with other things this was very very good so sweet lavender versus a an herbal one and a lemon pound cake this is delicious you want to lick the air next up was a sample this was in blue jeans this i received in one of my orders that i placed for those samplers this is denim downy ultra blue and blue sugar this is gorgeous this is a really nice size piece like a nice rectangular piece i split in half and put one in the bathroom in our master ensuite and one in the spare bathroom. I really enjoy this one. I believe this is the second and last of the two that I received from that order, a couple different orders, obviously. Um, I really do love this one. Highly recommend it if you like the downy, again, if you like laundry scents, that kind of thing, I think this would be very good for you. And last but certainly not least is lavender cashmere and lavender linen. So too much for me. <laughs> A little too herbally for me um i didn't like it as much again like the first lavender one with the cookie heaven and all the other gourmands to it um it's okay but it was just again i believe it was a sample size so i just melted it it's fine it wasn't offensive to me it's just not my favorite and wouldn't be something i would go out and run getting to get more so that my friends is everything so we're just gonna do pano it's not a lot but like i said before because i have such big the big bags I've been going through and really trying to make a conscious effort to do that. Um, I just, yeah, I just haven't been able to get through all as many of the smaller bits. But you guys, thank you so much for joining me. As always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.